This is an updated guide to a guide that I'd done a little while ago, which showed you how to transfer photos from your camera, phone or tablet to Windows 10 using Windows own built-in software. Now, not much has really changed in the process, but there's a couple of cosmetical changes in the Photos app. So I'm just gonna go through the whole thing again and show you how to do it using the most up-to-date version of the photo software. So first of all, you need to plug in your phone, your tablet or your camera into the computer. If it's a phone or tablet, obviously make sure it's unlocked and any device, make sure that it's in the mode required to transfer photos to or files to your computer. So. For example, I plug in my Android phone, and when I plug it in, I have to swipe down from the top of the screen, and it actually says something along the lines of USB charging. I tap that, and then tap it again, and then it gives me an option to use file transfer. So I, I tap file transfer, and then it puts my phone in the mode needed to transfer photos or files to and from the computer. I don't think you need to do anything apart from make sure that your phone is or tablet is unlocked if you've got an Apple product. Um, some cameras also want you to, uh, to put the camera into the mode where you're actually viewing photos on the actual camera to be able to transfer photos, but every device does vary. So I can't say for sure what mode you need to stick yours into. In, in like I say, some circumstances, you don't need to do anything. But anyway, so once you've plugged the phone, tablet or camera in and set it to the desired mode if you need to, then click on the start button in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. And then you should get the start menu come up and on your keyboard type, Photos, that's photos. After a little while, under best match, you should see the photos app appear. Left click once on this. Now, you might find that you just stay at a black or a white screen for a while. Don't worry, this is quite normal for this software. Sometimes it takes a little while and sometimes it might ask you to sign in with your Microsoft account. Now, if you haven't got a Microsoft account, just cancel that. So you don't need to sign in, it's not an imperative. So, okay, so once it's loaded, move your mouse up to import in the top right hand corner of the screen, left click once, and as you can see, you've got two options. So if you wanna copy it, uh, pictures from a folder, then you can do so. So if you want to copy it from a folder that's already on the computer to uh, to the pictures folder, then that's fine. Or if you, or from an external hard drive, I suppose you could use that. Or if you want to copy from a connected device, so from a phone camera, a tablet, or another device that's connected via a USB cable. So let's do that. Let's click on from a connected device, and that's a left click. So. Okay, so it's saying something went wrong. We're having trouble importing from this device. Is it connected to your PC, turned on and unlocked? Make sure there are photos or videos on your device. Well, okay, I know what I've done. I haven't put my phone into file transfer mode, so I'm just gonna do that. And okay, I've put it into the transfer mode there and it's actually come up on screen. So I'm gonna click try again. I'll just leave it for a few seconds and then click try again. And here we go, it's now looking and uh, it's looking like it's having more success. So uh, let's just leave that for a little while. And here we go, it's now finding some photos on my device. It's now found the photos. So we've got some options here. So the destination, this is where it's gonna go. It's gonna go onto your pictures folder. So you can change that if you want by clicking change destination. And then it gives you the option to, uh, to select your own uh, folder for it to go into, but I'm gonna leave it at that. And we've got an option here to select all items or items since last import. You can do that, or you can say none and just manually select the items that you want. So you just put a tick in the box of all the items you want. And if you've got more items in one month, instead of clicking them individually, what you can do is, you can click on the little box next to the month and the year, and that selects all of them automatically. If you don't want to import a, uh, a photo, then you can always click on the tick to remove it, or if you do want to import it, 
put the click on the box to put the tick in there. So as you can see here, I've got 125 items on the camera, but I don't want to import all of them. I just want to import these few. So there you go. So we've got the option here, import five of 125 items. And there's also an option to delete the originals after they've been imported off the camera, phone or tablet. But I would recommend leaving that unticked simply because if there is a problem at any time and they haven't imported across, at least you've still got them on the camera and uh, you've got the option to delete them later on manually from the, the phone camera or tablet uh, once you know that they're definitely on the computer. So I'm just going to click import five out of 125 items. That's a left click. And here we go. They're now being imported. And as you said, as you can see there, it says import completed. Five items have been successfully imported into photos and saved to the C backslash users backslash Chris pictures. So it will save in the pictures folder. So let's click on OK. And we can see those photos that have been imported in here in the photos app already, along with a previous photo that I'd already imported. Um, but like I say, it has put them in the pictures folder. So if I come out of this now, the photos, and let's have a look in the pictures folder. So I click the yellow folder at the bottom of the screen, click on pictures just there on the left. And as you can see, there they are. They're all on the side there. So there you go. That guide showed you how to import photos into your computer from your phone, tablet or camera. Hope this guide helps and thanks very much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech. That's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Wait YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.